good things because they are our family. No, it is not. Because anything that you do inside the family is not on this world. That's not good just for you. Why? Because even the sinners can love their family better than you do, probably. They can kill for their, for their family, isn't it? We know that. So if you just love your family because you love those who can love you back, our rabbi said, what's good? Because even the sinners can do that. And sometimes they can do better, isn't it, Brother West? But the word says, unto all men. That's why Apostle James said, you should not be respecter of men. Because Father, he has no respect of person. Now, I don't know what color you are. Orange, blue, green. Come on, man. There's no such thing, isn't it? Because this is white. And I've seen only human being that has white in there. And this is black. Man, my pastor is close as black, but he's not that black guy. <laughs> See? <laughs> when we call ourselves human, human, H-U-E means color man. That's all it is. So let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Hallelujah. Especially those. Why? Because we can see each other as come from one family. So when I first met Brother Darrell, I said, You are my lost brother. So they call me. My brother from a different mother is fine. Still, he is my brother because we are from the same father. And we have the same Messiah. That's all it is. That's why it says unto all men. That's why we are in this world to show how good Father Yah is unto all men. Because when our rabbi came to earth, he did not say, I die for white people. He did not say, I will die for the black folk. Nor he say, I will die in the middle, black and white, together. Right. He never said that. But he said in John chapter 3, verse 16, when Father Ia so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son. And the word says, whosoever. Yeah. And that's the word that our rabbi wants to impart to us. Yeah. This is your time to redeem yours to do what is right. In Isaiah chapter 22, verse 13, I might be along with it, Brother Darrell, so bear with me. If you heard Brother West already preach, uh, it's not even close. <laughs> Though he is my, my, my pastor, but my brother knows. I inherited my long with the list of my pastor Isaac. That's what Come on, Pastor Isaac. Come on. Mama always said I was taught well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Isaiah 22, verse 13. This is what Isaiah says. If you are like this, who behold joy and gladness and slaying oxen, meaning you just party everywhere, killing sheep, eating flesh, and drinking wine, and you say, let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we will die. But if you do like that, well, get a plane and be the first class. Don't do it economically. Do it with your gusto. <laughs> do it the whole shibang. <laughs> because, you see, if you want to do that, do it full ride. Do it without any visions. Because you know you're going to die. Then do what your hearts desire. Is that what Solomon said? Young man, 
desires of your heart. Go drink. Be merry. But know this. Whatever you do in this life, judgment is coming. You see? Sometimes we want just the first few sentences of the word, and we don't want the last. <laughs> just like we want all the blessings of Father Yah, and yet we don't want to do the rest of the reason why you need to do it to earn the blessing. Being the son is not easy. Our rabbi died for being the son. Being the members of his body is not easy. Now imagine the word that says, love your enemy. And be good to those who do you bad or evil. That's why if you cannot love your wife, if you keep on nagging you for everything that you don't want to do, still love, me, love her. Because that is your wife in the first place. Because if you call her your wife, you found a good thing. The same thing. If you have your children and you are passionate at them, sometimes, hey, Go back to the mirror and say, who is your talking? <laughs> who teaches them in the first place? <laughs> See? We should own the things that we do. We should understand that what we do in this life will be carried on on the after. Because the word says, whatever we do and say in this world will be used on the day of the judgment. Yes. And the Barim, or the Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 29. The Barim, or the Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 29. Hear what it says. 32, 29. O Israel, hear this, that they were wise, that they or you should understood this, they would consider their latter end. Remember this always that Moses said to the, to the folks of Israel. You should know that this will be your latter end. That if you are not going to do the will of Father Yah and be disobedient just like those who were annihilated and killed in the wilderness, that will be your latter end. You will have the same end. And then Moses said on the part of those words, he says, Choose you, Israel, to serve Father Yah or the other way around. Why you die, Israel? Why you die, my dear brothers and sisters, if you have the opportunity to do what is right? If we have given the time to redeem ourselves. Redeeming ourselves is the thing that we are doing right now. The reason why we are still in this world is because Father Yah is not done. He's not done. Because if he said you're done, that's it. Our pastor wants to do more. But Father Yah said, it's okay, son. The work is done. But since we are still on earth, then our work so until then, we need to do what is right. Ecclesiastes, let's go back again to Ecclesiastes. I told you a while ago, we keep on talking about Ecclesiastes. Because if there's good words that we can get from Zulumo, here it is. In Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 14. 
For Elohim shall bring every word and do judgment with every secret thing. Now, don't, don't say that Father Yah don't know what you're doing or your pastor don't understand why you're doing this or that. Now, it doesn't matter whether Pastor Black will see you or not. Isn't it Mariah Miracle? Isn't it, baby? Doesn't matter whether people see you or not. Because it is either secret or not, whether it be good or whether it be evil, everything will be put on the table on the day of the judge. And whatever we do or say on this world, we will be judged. In Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. Hebrews 9, 27. Says here. Again, it is repeated by Apostle Saul. Just like making a point. In 9.27 it is said, in, And as it is appointed unto man, What? To die. And then after this, he said, The judgment. So, don't be that young man whom you can do whatever you want. Now, for now, I'm hoping and praying you know how to restrain our thought, our actions, and deed before we do such things. Because at the end of the day, the word of Father Yah is the ultimate judge. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 17, Colossians the Colossae, chapter 3, verse 10. This is what uh, Brother Darl is telling us a while ago. Once you have that inkling to redeem your time, here's what it says. And have put on the new man. Now, if you have the inkling to be the new man, you cannot be the new man until until you have the new man. Remember what David said in Psalms? David said, Father, you have created in me a new heart, a new mind. Because the old mind that you have is from the world. And anything that you have from that mind needs to go away, needs to die. By itself. And when you say die as in die, die, don't resurrect the dead. Hallelujah. Otherwise, you'll be as walking dead. Did you know that it is written if you do the things that is against the word of Father Yah, you are dead to him. So those people outside of his word, they are walking dead. You are dead to Father Yah. And the only those who are alive are those who do the will of the Father. So there is a difference between dead 